What's up, YouTube? It's uh, me, Magic Medolce, and another collab video with uh, my buddy, the Awesome Diamond. Woo! I'm actually very glad to be doing an yet another uh, collaboration video with him. Um, I do have a little bit of news, um, a few, actually. Uh, one, I got fired on Monday from my job, so uh, you won't be seeing me at all through... the videos that I normally do, so mostly it will be at my, uh, home. Uh, secondly, I am also now being working with, uh, Bruce Lee 9684 Productions. Um, uh, you guys might know him. Uh, some of them you do, some of you don't. Uh, basically what we're going to be doing is, uh, doing discussions about games. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! which we currently are playing. Um, also we're pl also playing Magic the Gathering. Um, but basically, this is just going to be a discussion video right now about what we love. You know, we might get pissed, we might get <laughs> crazy, a little ragey about what we talk about, because that's what people do. Yeah, um, I, I just hope I don't die during this. <laughs> yes, you and your StarCraft. <laughs> you and your StarCraft. By the way, Blizzard, I hope to God you get rid of that game sooner or later. I don't No, 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 no. Starcraft's awesome. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, uh, right now we're going to actually start by doing Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I know that it's probably already ready. Uh, we're talking about some of the cards from the ban list. Uh, and one that I thought, thought was funny was Kaiser Coliseum. Um, if you guys don't know what Kaiser Coliseum does, I have a computer here that will tell me what... And basically, uh, it's a spell... Ah, uh, sorry. It is a continuous spell. And here is its English effect. If there is one or more monsters on the field of the controller of this card, his or her opponent cannot place a monster on the field if his or her number of monsters would exceed the number of monsters that are on the field of this card's controller. This, The cards that are already on the field before... This card activation are unaffected by this effect. Well, that's bull. Oh, trust me, my uh, roommate Isaac pulled this one. It was one of his favorite, even with Dark Worlds. Ugh. So, like, if there was more than one card, say, like, you had one monster on the field, and there was more than one card on your opponent's side, you play that card, they can't place any more because it would exceed? Yeah. Okay. And basically, once that one monster uh, leaves the field, to even create a new monster or tribute someone for a new monster, that tributed monster would have to um, be destroyed because it would exceed. That's one of my friend's favorite moves is <laughs> to, you know, keep his board at one or two, maybe. <laughs> I always hated those cards. I, I, I'm pretty sure more than half my dueling community at my college hated that. Hated <laughs> for that. Um, another thing I would like to point out. Ha ha ha. Fuck you, monarchs. <laughs> fuck you. I know I play them. I love them slightly. <laughs> what happened? Mon monarchs. Mm -hmm. They got hit heavily in this, and I laugh at that. Why? I know people are going to hate me for it. I know they're going to get pissed about it. <laughs> but I'm sorry. I mean, dude, the way monarchs work is by tributing, and then once you go out of the pathicism of their um, field spell, the pathicism of monarchs, ugh. Wow. Heck, even the first monarch trap card. <laughs> no. J just no. Just no. Um, another one... Uh, that hit the forbidden list um, was Performa Pal Monkey Board. And funny enough, we do have a, a uh, Performa Pal player. Yep, I, I'm off screen for a second. Sorry. Oh! What? These things broke. Whoops. Dang it. Anyway. Sorry. Uh, Monkey board, yes and no. 
I would have said, um, put it on the limited, where we can only play one, maybe semi-limited, but to forbidden it, uh, I have my ups and downs about it. I mean, I don't play Performa Pal, so I don't really give a frig. <laughs> so what's it do exactly? Okay, um, hold on. Yeah. Sorry, I just kind of need to ask, seeing how that's yeah, like... Yeah, the, the fact that you actually on. have it, though, you should know it. I do have it. I, I'm pretty sure I gave you one. Okay. Yeah, uh, when I was kind of bored and when Perform Pals got quite hit on this, I basically gave up on them. There was no way I was playing it. Um, but give me one second here. My computer's kind of being slow right now. Um, but yeah. When Monarchs got hit, I had to laugh. When I saw that, I'm like, yep. There he goes. And the funny thing is, I, I just bought the uh, structure deck for it. So it was like, okay, I bought the structure deck. Here's a few months I had to play with it. And then, boom, instant ban list. And <laughs> but, yeah. Um, sorry, guys. I'm trying to get to my drinks here. There's got to be a way to block out that stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, it's okay. Um, I don't know why this thing is taking so long to load, but hey, what can you do? Coca Cola! <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, oh, another thing is, um, I'm currently looking for a job. If you guys think this is the only thing I do, even though I don't do edits, um, that's definitely not what I do. Um, this is content creations are not the only thing I do. Um, I am a gamer. I love World of Warcraft. I love, I love Diablo. Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can hear him. He made a rude gesture about World of Warcraft. Not funny. <laughs> that game has five, I think, what, 5.9 billion people. Yeah, what's not working is your monkey board. <laughs> I'm sorry. Odd Eyes Performer Pal, I hate them so much. I mean, they work so well, but I hate them. Um, anyway, Performer Pal Monkey Board is a pendulum monster. Uh, attribute is Earth. It's a beast pendulum effect monster. Level 6, pendulum scale 1. Um... It's pendulum effect what... Uh, <laughs> it just jumped up. Yes. It does that. For some reason. Anyway. It's pendulum effect is... Unless you have a Performa Pal card... And your other pendulum zone... This card's pendulum scale... Becomes four. During your main phase... If this card is was activated this turn, you can add one level four or lower performer power monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect in performer power monkey board once per turn. <laughs> now it's monster effect. You can discard this card, reveal one performer power or odd eyes monster in your hand, and if you do, reduce the levels of monsters in your hand with that name by one for the rest of the turn, even if they are. Even after they are summoned set. Interesting. That's why I say it probably should have been limited or semi-limited. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with it being banned. Yeah, I don't recognize that one. I don't think that was one of the ones that you gave. Um, anyway, that's the few cards that got hit for the Forbidden List. Now we're going to actually start moving on to the uh, limited list. If And for newbie here um, <laughs> the awesome diamond is learning I am yeah, slightly I'm... I don't like the pendulum scales as much but hey teach her own last time I ever played Yu-Gi-Oh not counting what I'm learning now was still with Yu-Gi's deck back before I think actually back basically the when, whole starting yeah like back when, when, when this game GX started. was even starting to come out GX. I remember when GX came out too 
Some people hate it, but I'm like... Yeah, I, I didn't... I mean, it was a rehashing I, I of... I didn't really care much care, for it. It was basically a rehashing of, like, original series. I mean, <laughs> you... Can, motorcycles. <laughs> no, that was 5Ds. Oh, yeah, that's right. What was GX? Was that GX just... was Jaden... Oh, that's right. At the dual school. That's right. I remember now. But, um... The one thing I thought was funny was that the very last episode of that show was Yugi versus uh, Jaden. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yes. <laughs> anyway, we're going to... For those who don't know how um, tournament play, um, most duelists try to keep their decks within the limits of the ban list. Well, the limited forbidden list, semi-limited list... Um, limited means you can only have one copy. Um, the next one, well, the first one for, uh, the limited list is Sir Malbranch of the Burning Abyss. Now, I did hear that Burning Abyss got smacked a little bit harder. This one, especially with Graf, Sir... And a few others. Um, anyway, it was originally semi-limited. I never really played Burning Abyss. I actually might make the deck. But problem is, I'm a Phantom Knight fan, so... Which is current stuff. I'm not sure if I'm going to go BA, PK, or just PK. If you're wondering what I mean, PK is Phantom Knight, BA is Burning Abyss. But that's what we call it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I really can't say much about... Sir, being on the limited list, because I don't know it. Um, I third the Heavenly Monarch. <laughs> like I said, Monarch, you got hit bad. <laughs> I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad whatsoever. <laughs> um, another one, Cosmo Dark Destroyer. Uh, one thing I love about Cosmos is that it was basically a Wizard of Oz Star Wars deck. Oh. Most of the cards were um, referencing either Star Wars or Wizard of Oz. Really? Yeah. It, it, it is still kind of top tier, even though we don't have tiers anymore, because uh, they kind of got rid of that system. Tiers? Was that the black cards? No. Tiers were basically, oh, this deck and archetype is the best, so your tier, oh. tier zero, tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four. Um... They got rid of that, like, mid, maybe early to mid GX or early Zexel. Um, but yeah, I really can't say anything about Cosmos because I don't play them. They're interesting to me, but they just haven't caught my attention. Um, next thing, Magic Spectre Unicorn Karen. Now, if you guys want to know... Um, it's a fact I'll actually look it up. Whoops. Ow, I hurt myself. Don't smack your head off the table. <laughs> but, um, if I remember right, it is a, a pendulum, I think. Right now with CoolStuffInc.com. Um, it has no attacks. Uh, you can get Map Spectre Unicorn Killin at 125 Maybe cheaper somewhere else. Uh, I usually use Amazon or anywhere I can just get it cheaper. Other than, what was it, Magi Medolce or whatever? The, <laughs> the one that goes for, like, what was it, 16 What's the highest price a card can actually go? Um, or is that the highest you've ever seen? One? The... <laughs> there is a legendary card that takes all three Egyptian god cards to sacrifice to summoner. Um, it's, I believe she's in Japanese form. Um, Interesting. And in package, I think someone, last time I looked, wanted 400 for it. Oh my. Yeah. The problem is, with single card buying, you could spend maybe a hundred, five hundred dollars, maybe. Sometimes you get, if you just want to have a fun deck, you may spend fifty, seventy, <laughs> maybe 
minimum a hundred for a whole deck. Oh my gosh, that card looks sick. Yeah, um, it is a pendulum, but like I was saying, it is a spellcaster pendulum effect monster. It is a wind. Uh, it's a level six pendulum scale two. Um, its effect reads as this: During either player's turn, you can target one pendulum monster in your monster zone, and one monster your opponent controls. Return them to the, the hand, hand or hands, because it has that parentheses made to in the uh, for the S, so that means hand or hands. Um, you can only use this effect of Master Magic Unicorn once per turn. Cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So you do have one question. Yes. I have yet to see a card that actually deals with the attribute. Because normally it's just like, oh, this card can only be equipped to machines. Whereas the machine is like, say, wind. What is the point of the attributes? Um, is, there there are, any, is there actually a card that will well, deal with attributes? There is, uh, like, Harpy's Hunting Ground deals with wind. Oh, really? Yes, Har uh, Harpy, Har Harpy's Hunting Ground mostly deals with wind. Um, there are cards that require you to ha have the right attribute. Now, this, I will say, is right. I'm gonna actually, the next one is a, an XZ called Beatrice. Um, Lady of the Eternal. I kind of agree with it being limited, maybe semi-limited. Um, it was just recently put on the ban list. Beatrice is actually one of my favorites, card art-wise. Um, let me pull up her... Takes a while, sadly. Um, ah, here we go, the wikia. Uh, if you guys are wondering where we're getting these card effects, um, if I don't know them, I usually do it by the uh, wikia, Yu Gi Oh! wikia.com. Sorry, Yu Gi Oh! dot wikia dot com slash wiki. Um, so mostly these are almost always correct on the art. I mean, on the uh, effects. Uh, anyway, Beatrice, Lady of the Eternal, she is an exceed. Yes, she is very beautiful. I love her art. <laughs> uh, she's a rank six. Uh, fairy... Oh, that's right. It wasn't tears. It was ranks. I keep forgetting yeah. that. Uh, she was a fairy exceed effect rank six. Uh, it takes two level six to summon her. Um, her card effect types are Summon, Condition, Trigger, and Quick. Um, you can either do it this, um, uh, two level six monsters, or you can also exceed summon this card by sending one Burning Abyss monster from your hand to the graveyard, then using Dante, one Dante monster you control as exceed material, uh, if summoned this way, the following effect cannot be activated this turn. Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can detach one Exeem material from this card, send one card from your deck to the graveyard. If this card is in your possession, is destroyed by your opponent's card, by battle, or by card effect, and sent to your graveyard, you can special summon one Burning Abyss monster from your deck, uh, sorry, extra deck, Ignoring its summoning conditions. Hmm. Okay, maybe I am right. Maybe it should stay limited. Um, if you guys are wondering what the OCG is, it's it, it is uh, unlimited. Kind of and what's OCG stand for? Original uh, card game. Um, way back when, like when we started, we started with the OCG, mm -hmm. but then US was like, ah, no, we're gonna slide away from it. And we became the TCG. Which is trading card game. Yeah, the trading card game. Okay. Um, we still follow Konami mostly. It's just... So what's the main differences? Well, most of... Uh, funny enough, uh, the OCG list is actually much shorter. Oh, really? Yes, actually, some of the stuff that's on here isn't on there. 
which is actually quite amusing. So say there's like 20 banned cards on here, there would be only like maybe 5, 10 on the OCG list. Very possibly. Um, I don't follow OCG very much. Now here's something I believe should stay, should have stayed semi-unlimited. Semi Emergency Tower. For anyone who plays Psychics, and for how... The way I see it is, um, when you play a psychic and you can't quickly get their effects going off, you got something like emergency teleport, summon that card, and then you start build, getting more out of it. So I don't agree with it being on the limited list. Um, and then towards the bottom there, there's a monarch. Yes. <laughs> what I was just talking about, pantheism of the uh, monarchs. I'm not going to go into much that. You guys probably already know what it means. I don't like monarchs. I'm sorry. I love their art. <laughs> I love their art archetype, but I hate how they're currently were played before, after this. So I agree with pantheism being at one. Uh, Penguin Call, I don't agree with at all. It was very useful, very fun to play with. I mean, I don't play with it because I don't really play my pendulum uh, cards really all that much. Um, and here we go. Monarch Storm 4. Uh, for me, that's kind of hard to, to say. I, I, I say maybe they were right to do that. I, I'm not too sure. Okay, so we're now off the forbidden list. We are now on the Semi. Sorry, limited semi limited. Sorry. Anyway, uh, next uh, semi limited maxi. I entirely agree. Um, mostly because of its effect. And what's that? Okay, I, I was kind of figuring you're gonna <laughs> ask. I'm sorry. No, it's totally okay. We want people here to understand what we're talking about, so it's kind of. Mm -hmm. Um, but, yeah, take my computer takes so, so while. <laughs> Alrighty, the card art looks interesting. Yeah, and look how much it is right now. 1349 on coolstuffinc.com. Yeah. Interesting. I, I don't agree with that. Oh, uh, but that's just the promo. Would it be different if it wasn't the promo? I mean, we did just get a new card from... Dark Illusions, I think, called Retaliating C. Yeah, C's are, they actually have a small support archetype called the C's. Mm. Maxi, Retaliating C's. I, I forget the other ones. Um, I, I think I have like one or two copies of uh, Retaliating. Um, anyway, its effect goes like this. During either player's turn, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. This turn, each time your opponent special summons a monster or monsters, you get to immediately draw one card. You can only use one maxi once per turn. Hmm. I think that. Yeah, once per turn. So, I mean. That doesn't sound that bad. Yes and no. Um, it's like, oh, I special summon. Oh, I special summon. Okay, well, fine. On your first, I dump Maxi into my graveyard. I'm going to draw those twice. I mean, I mean, in a way, I say with today's meta, that definitely hurts a lot mm -hmm. for us. Um, Thunder King Ryo, uh, it was limited. I, I don't use it. I'm glad to see that Wind Up Magician got semi-limited. It was limited before. Now here's the three cards that got thrown off, which actually with now with uh, Dark Magicians getting kicked back, we now can do Allure of Darkness three times, or Gold Sarcophagus. Um, and of course, with Tomb World uh, being the big thing right now as well, uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict got put off the ban list. If you remember anything about classic Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pegasus, Ghost Kingdom, uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict was one of the boss monsters. Hmm. 
and talking about rehashing in um, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, we had a card like Thousand Eyes Restrict, where he can steal a monster from your side and gain the attack, um, and add it to his own attack. Um, isn't there another card kind of like that, but it's a spell or trap card? No, there are two cards that I I personally know of that I use for decks. Uh, one is the one card you really hate. Um, Was it the one that you would use and like uh, my zombie copied the attack of one of my other cards? Yeah. Uh, in my zombies is vampire. Uh, I can't remember the last part. Last part of it. It's uh, the main card for the vampire support. And funny enough, it's one of my mats. Um, oh, uh, vampire vamp. Yeah. Vamp. Yeah. Vampire vamp basically does the same thing. The minute she hits the graveyard after you activate her, when you summon her a certain way. Uh, no, sorry. Whenever you normal summon her or a um, vampire, dark vampire, and she goes to the graveyard, well, sorry, no, you can steal one of your opponent's monsters, take it, equip it to you, and then it makes becomes your attack, but at the same time, you can also, when it hits the grave, it bounces right back. Yeah. But that's kind of a special summon. And then also also uh, Destiny Hero Plasma has basically the same effect. Uh, once you summon Destiny Hero Plasma, what you can do is steal your opponent, equip it, and you gain half their attack. Um, so yeah. Um, that was the ban list we were just talking about. I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys follow um, so real quick, what do you want to know, if at all, I have been a bit confused about the pendulums. Okay. Because those are new, and again, I was really used to, um, the classics back, again, before GX and 5D, and then... By the time I came, got back into Yu-Gi-Oh, thanks to you, I you started throwing out all these new cards that I've never seen before, and I was just like, "Okay, um, <laughs> you guys might hear this. Um, I'm going to actually start play a vi playing a video. Um, let me see if I can find it." I think it's on their home page, part of this page, I'm not sure. Wait, gameplay. 